What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I was gonna get up and go get a drink. God, what an idiot I am. I just like, no, I'll just keep playing. And uh, we're playing, we're back, we're back with some more uh, early access streamer uh, War of the Spark. War of the Spark early access stream from Wizards of the Coast. This is a sponsored video, and uh, the stream itself is also sponsored. So thank you guys at Wizards of the Coast for the invite. Really appreciate that. And we're looking to play some Sultai Zombones. Uh, the Zombone, as you guys know, is connected to the Leg Bone. And we're trying to figure out the cuts here. This is a, a list that, that uh, No Beats just sent to us. And um, this was a list he just found in a blog. It was just a, a zombie list that he was looking at. And Soul Diviner is the only blue card in the deck, so we can actually fix our mana base pretty, pretty significantly by cutting the blue. There's literally no other blue cards. And uh, I'm also not super sold, like... I'm also, I, th I think like Dread Malkin's actually pretty good. Sacrifice another creature or Planeswalker to put two counters on this. And um, I'm also pretty high on Dread Horde Invasion. So I think these are actually pretty good. I think we're taking out the Soul Diviners. And we can also just cut all of the, the blue lands. And we can add Unclaimed Territory as well. Really? You're not going to find Unclaimed Terror? Do I really have to do the whole thing? Could you not find half words? I'm not sure if that's just a... What if I search for tear? Okay, you would find it. Good to know. Alright. My girlfriend told me to treat her like a princess, so I married her off to a random stranger to strengthen the alliance with France. I don't believe you. I think you're lying about that. Okay, unclaimed territory. Is there any other land that would be really good here? I also kind of like, uh, I kind of like another Storev, but he is legendary. Okay, let's let's not go through all those. I also like more Open the Graves. I think Open the Graves is good, but I don't, I don't want to draw too many of them, I think. Death Baron, Reaver, Grave Marshal, Eternal Taskmaster. What's a, what's a removal? I think like two Dread Malkin is good and four Dread Horde Invasion. Let's go with that. We have four, eight, 12, 13 lands. 23 are in here, so we want 10 more lands. We need like two cuts if we want to keep it like this. I can see cutting one Dread Horde Invasion. Oh my god. I could see cutting like one Mulder. I don't even know if I like the Ronus here. I'll cut one Ronus and one Mulder Hulk. And are, is there any other black green lands that we want? I don't think so. I think we're just going to put basics in here, right? The problem with Ronus is that it's not like it gives plus three plus three, it just doubles the power. So if you have like a one two and a one one, it's a it's a two two and a two one. Like the the creatures themselves aren't that big. I think I think Ronus is, can be pretty spicy in general, but I don't think it is in the mono black deck. Is this right? Seven four. No removal. I mean we'll try it like this and then we'll uh We'll see if we need removal after this. Are there no cool planeswalkers we want? I feel like Vraska is also pretty good here, just because like you can sack your stupid zombie idiots. All right, let's do it. I mean, this deck could be terrible. We actually have no idea. I can see playing Memorial, but I'm not sure if I want a, a land that comes in to play tapped. <sighs> I'm 
This is actually great. This is a good hand. Turn two, Marshall. Turn three, one of these. Zombones connected to the other zombone. The neck bones connected to the third zombone. Leg bones connected to the seventieth zombone. And these are the bones in your body. So many bones in your zombone. Body. Do 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 do. Oh, I don't like that. Nope, don't like that. I would like to control three Zombones. I think it's actually fine. Yeah, I was like, I don't think you're blocking my dude. So she's going to go up to 5, and they're going to have 3 power. Yeah, I think it's just Lily here. It's just better value. One person's trash we hit we hit a Zombone. Army. They're basically dead. Chicken bones connected to the slinky bone. Do, 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 do. What up, Art Jumper? Oh, another beast beast whisper? A weast bisper? Okay, take it easy. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. Zombie again. It did hurt, I bet. It did hurt. How was the new set? I'm having a good time with it. I'm having a good time with it so far. Uh, one thing that's interesting is like sometimes I feel like a lot of our opponent's decks are not super well tuned. Which is interesting because a lot of them are like everyone in the, 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 the early access event is either a streamer or, a, or an MPL member, I believe. So it feels like they would be a little more well tuned? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just misseeing them. I'm mischaracterizing them. But either way, that match went well. So, I'm okay with it. Drag cards from your hand to the battlefield. Not everyone can top eight pro, so this is just a skill gap. They need to get a... Well, right, but I'm... <laughs> I'm not even saying that. Oh, look, Saffron Olive. We always have to meet like this. Me and the Olive Man. I'll keep this hand. Um, I'm just saying that, like, if you're streaming magic, like, as a, a well enough to, to get into the event, then I feel like you'd be more proficient with it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Give me a, a two drop here. You're going to give me the one drop, and that's fine. I'll take a Dread Malkin, but I prefer a two drop here. Okay, but I know they're top eight approach, or nor am I a pro streamer, and I think we already we all agree I've already broken the format. I don't even know why you put a cap at the end of that. I was very impressed with that deck. I was very impressed. If I were my opponents, I would be impressed as well. Guys, when you mention I top eight approach, or can you also mention that I top eight a Grand Prix? I feel like I don't want to leave the Grand Prix out, and uh, I feel like, you know, I really need that kind of that validation. So. 
If you guys could mention, make sure to mention both when you bring them up, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, two drop. Wow, we asked. We asked for a two drop and we got a two drop. <laughs> I didn't top eight the Pro Tour with a six. Yeah, it's a 41 card deck. That's actually true. I played 41 cards at the, at the Grand Prix. Look at this guy. Just look at him. I don't like these Molder Hulks. I don't feel like they're... I don't feel like they're that great. Can can we explain why there's no skeletons in this deck? Because the skeletons are also getting the buff. And it feels just kind of silly to not be playing skeletons too, right? So... That's a weird... Oh, you're, my hubris is showing? Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's, uh, it's awkward. I do what needs to be done. Let's see if you got plus four, plus two. That'd be cool. Shocky McShockerson. You got it. Sorry to give you a it's aggressive. <sighs> you also named Pithing Needle Pithing Needle. That's true. That's true. And I also named Wolverines uh, with a card. What was that card that's like you name... It was the, it's like a 3-3 human for 4 that like your creatures you control get protection from the chosen type. I'm going to no blocks this because we can just play another one, I guess. I'll actually try next time. Riders of Gavany. Yeah, I would, I had a, I had a Riders of Gavany and I named, um, Wolverines with it. What did I mean to name? God, that's a good question. Werewolves. I think I meant to name werewolves and I named wolverines. Because this was Innistrad. So that would make sense. Wolves is probably what I meant to name. Wolves or werewolves, yeah. And it was pretty awkward. So Galta costs 12. We got four, so it costs eight. Okay. Okay. I love that the casting cost changes with the graveyard because uh, it should. And that's what I loved about like things like Hearthstone. Okay. You got it. My two favorite streamers are in the Thunderdome. I feel bad picking a side. I would too. I would too if I were you. Oh, that's nice. That's a... That's a dude. Leg bones connected to the neck bone. Let's talk about your neck bone. What is this song you what is the song you're singing, you friggin' weirdo? What's wrong with you? Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Sure. Aggressive. We're attacking with both. If they want to block, block. Uh, that's totally fine. Because then we get to get a creature back. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. And now we're at a point where we can just play Molder Hull. And... Graveyard of the Battlefield, huh? Yeah, Woodland Cemetery's gotta be just better there, right? Could you be the... What is it, six? So this guy costs six? And you have one, two, three, four? Okay. Or even try to fool ya. Oh no. What a six here? I'm a maniac. So this guy's gonna go down to four, so we can play that and like Graveyard Marshal or something? Um, which one's better? X like from Graveyard? I think I'd rather have the Taskmaster. It just does more here. I mean, four, five, six is a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is golf a 10 10 or 12 12? 12 12? So 12 12 for 12? Sure. Judith. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then golf. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we like have no way to deal with this, which is problematic, as you guys probably know. Let's get this guy back. Pretty sure this guy's dead, but that's fine. Uh, ret returns of the hand. of a board here. <clears throat> oh, you're just gonna do, do one of these jobbies, huh? This guy's trample? Okay. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what he has. Like, if he has, like, Collision Colossus, it's fine. Like, we're just basically dead. Yep. To the surprise of no one. Oh, you just had two of them. That's cool. <laughs> Congratulations. Alright, well, what are you gonna do? I feel like we do want some some form of removal here. What? You mostly wiped his board. That's true. That's true. What cards are not impressive here? I don't think I like Bantu. I mean, it's cool. It's a cool zombie. It's got menace, but like, I, there's. An, I don't think I care about Molder Hulk either. Get out of here, Molder Hulk. Maybe we just go a little harder on the open the graves. Just trying to think positive. That's true. 
and they almost had they had like one card in hand either so are there either they had one card in hand also so that's also pretty good how many lands is it running 23 right 4 8 12 16 plus 7 it's 20 20 20 thrice I mean, I kind of want something to just... I mean, I, I think it's just Assassin's Trophy. I feel like that's, like, the card we're looking for here. I mean, we can get... We can use Cast Down, but, like, Cast Down doesn't kill Judith. It doesn't kill Galta. Scully Hulk? What is that? Oh, I... Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, Christ. That's That's fantastic. Yeah, Mulder Hulk's good, but he's just he he just he wants to believe so badly. You know, you just got to get that Scully Scully Hulk cuz she's it uses a little more restraint when it comes to those theories. I don't think there's any good deals on a creature that or a card that kills and amasses. I mean, the problem with Fatal Push is that it doesn't kill Galta. Like we're looking for things that kill like big creatures. I think it's just Assassin's Trophy. Like, Assassin's Trophy is just good, right? Menace and... Oh, you're a spirit. You're not a... You're not a zombo. Yeah, murder's all right. Wow, that's a weird... I'm sure there is uh, cards that sacrifice. Can I? What if I search for sacrifice destroy? Will that help me? Yes. Uh, sack a creature, pay four, destroy a target creature, or planeswalker. Not bad, but it's a sorcery. It's kind of meh. Contract killing costs five. Sack a creature, you gain life, like to destroy a creature and opponent controls. Severed strands isn't terrible for two mana. Yeah, my problem with clipping things like that or quoting things like that is that it looks really bad if anyone goes to, like, the clips or the, the quotes. It just doesn't look good. Uh, this is... Spark Harvest is New Bone Splinter, right? But, I mean, I'd, I'd almost rather play Severed Strands, right? But this does kill Planeswalkers, which is super nice. Um... Yeah, I just don't think Bontu is great here. Like, we don't actually have a bunch of things we want to sacrifice. So we get four slots here. Cruelty's fine, but again, it doesn't kill Galta. Like, we want to be able to kill big creatures, like five sixes and seven eights and twelve twelves. And I just don't see, like, I don't I don't see why any of these are better than Assassin's Trophy. Like, why are we looking for things that are not Assassin's? Like, why not just play Assassin's Trophy for as a two of? That just seems better, right? Um, I think we're going to go with Zombie Token. I don't actually mind one more Open the Graves and maybe like one Liliana. God, I really like new Liliana a lot. Oh, the neg two, neg two, and a mass is good. That's a good one. I kind of just want one more star of. I think this card's very, very good, and being able to just get back guys. I almost don't actually like. I mean, I don't think you can not play graveyard marshal, but it's kind of contradictory with eternal taskmaster because they're both kind of doing different things. They're both trying to get cards out of your like one's bringing them out of your graveyard and one's exiling from your graveyard so what do 
What about like one Vraska? I like, not the six mana, but the four mana one. I mean, right now we have six, uh, six four drops, which I don't love. We have eight three drops. A good amount of two drops, though. That's that's nice. I guess we can play another five drop. What's a good five drop for for these colors? For these Colares? Is Grusham Menagerie good here? Maybe we just want one more Dread Malkin. I think this card's actually probably pretty good. Liliana unhugged by my dad. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just going to play one more Dread Malkin for now. I want to maximize. I want to I want to try to hit my one me one drops. Did chat say Vraska? Whatever, my dude. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Keeps. We did not get our one drop again, which is sad, but... Play, playing against Kevin M. from Wizards of the Coast. That's from the French. That's the French for Wizards of the Coast. First strike when it dies, amass one. I got a one-two, my dude! Mine doesn't even have to wait till it dies to amass. Do you know Kevin? I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I literally have no idea if that's a serious, uh, you know, a serious thing. I'm gonna be reaping here. I think he's gonna die though. No attacks. If we attack with this, then they could kill this and get in, and I don't feel like... I guess it's fine. Oh no, they did the thing. Joke's on you, I drew another one. <laughs> I don't actually know Kevin. He could be a good person. That's on him, though. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's Bleeding Edge. Look, they did it. No blocks. Where did all my creatures go? Oh boy. What a revolting development. No attacks. I know, I met Kevin through Elias, he knows him from Ant- Why did you capitalize Antoine? I'm gonna attack with both my creatures, don't bedevil this guy, cause then I'll be really sad. I don't want to be sad. Nobody wants to be sad. I probably would have sacked this guy to kill this guy. Oh, let's get our... Oh, we can't get Death Baron back, so let's get all... Let's get Reavy back. Oh, let's get our Reavy back, Reavy back, Reavy back. I'm going to play this because I want to be able to get back... Uh, Death Baron next. <laughs> Death Baron. Never seen 
Oh my god. See, again, this is a situation where we just want some removal so we can just deal with things like this. Oh man. How's your turtle? He's doing, she's doing great. She is still super healthy. She is a wonderful lady. I'm gonna get back. Oh, let's get. Uh, we can't cast that this turn, can we? Have we played a land this turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. Have we played a land? Oh, crud. I don't know. I wish there was a, a menu that said the things I've done this turn. Can anyone remember if I played a land this turn? Anyone at all? Have I played a land? I don't know. This really affects what I do, though. I don't think so either. I have? Oh, God. Here we go. Yep, alright. Well, I'll just get back the Death Baron, I guess. Fire and fury. Yeah, I have. Okay. Sweet! Okay, King Cat, listen. Ain't nobody got time for your shenanigans. Um, I don't actually care about this guy anymore. I'll just leave him on the board. I'm gonna get this guy back. Eternal Taskmaster doing some work. Play. Oh, we played it already. Alright, so we'll just play. We'll just play Storev. I think we're doing well here. There are all these Watsi people whose names are not recognized. They must be on the arena team. I feel like there's a lot more uh, Wizards employees than you and I know about, though. There's a lot of the back-end people that just have no no public personas, you know? Uh, okay, well, I guess we're just attacking with this dude. Play this guy. Play this guy. We got four left. Probably just gonna play this guy. Look how wide we're going. Oh my goodness gracious. Bob from Accounting Watts. <laughs> Is this Kevin Malone? I'm from the Scranton office of Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast in Scranton. Good times, good times. Man, we are killing this, whatever this mastery tree, whatever it is. Yeah, I kind of want a third, uh, a third my dude. I kind of want a third Assassin's Trophy here, I'll be honest with you guys. Is there anything that's not exciting? Not really. These are all pretty exciting. Maybe we want the Amass spell. A-M-A-S-S. -S. Did it beat Kevin? Yes, we did. We haven't drawn Dreadhorde Invasion once yet. I think Bleeding Edge is actually very good. Um, I thought it was a Mass 1. It's a Mass 2, so it's a 2-2 two -two that gives negative 2, negative 2. So it's basically like a Mana War that gives neg 2, neg 2 to a creature, which is pretty sick. I just added a second open the graves, man. God. Yeah, maybe you're right, though. I wish Liliana's mastery was available. Dang it. What if we cut the green and just played blue, and then we can play Gleaming Overseer and enter the God Eternals instead of Store of an Assassin's Trophy?
Huh, is that good? Is that better? Oh, and then we can play Commence the End Game? Storv is good. Right, Enter needs a target, but who cares? When are they not going to have targets? What deck are you playing that doesn't have a target? You maniac. Plus we get to play the other two drop instead. Oh, this isn't this could be interesting. Kefnet is also a zombie god. I mean, the ability will probably never trigger. We'll never reveal instances or sorceries that way, but Huh. Is it worth Is it worth? Control man, I'll take my mama hands, living land. All right, what's the amass card? It's three mana. It's got the big face on it. It's got the big fat head on it. Really? Like, why doesn't it show up when I'm... I have to search for it separately, because I guess it says amass, and amass doesn't uh, have... Interesting. Are all the war gods zombies? Yes, I believe so. No, this one, Ilharg the Raised Boar is a boar god. He is not a zombie. He's the only the red one is the only one that is not. Uh I think we can play two bleeding edge. We need one cut though. We we'll probably cut like one. I like Reaver because it goes wide. But it's just Yeah. Cut one Dreadhorde invasion, I guess. This guy having menace is pretty good. All right, we'll give it another go with the uh, with the black green version. Then we'll try the the black blue version. Why did we stop playing with walkers.deck? Because we're trying to make video content and stream and have an exciting time rather than just keep playing the same deck over and over. Unlike you, Michael McGimp, some people like variety rather than just grinding the same boring, punishing deck over and over. But every game was exciting. I agree with you. That was a fun deck. I'm going to keep this I know you do, buddy. I know you do. Thank you. Uh, Dreadhorde? Oh, cool. Badger with uh, 10 gifted subs because that's totally random and reasonable. A Piper, Silver Cell, Cad, Daniel, Unwisest Monk, Shakira's, uh, Local Gunfighter, Hey Tony, Mick the Mick, the Mick, the Mick, OG Trevor. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much. RPG Badger, you are awesome, dude. Really appreciate it. You are a solid dude. Um. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the Dreadhorn Invasion. Thank you. Yikes. Banish evil from this plane. I believe in you, friend. Thank you. I think we play three drop here. Next turn, we we block. We get a draw card. Is it non-token? Dang it! Dang it, Midnight Reaper. We're at the point in the stream where I regret not refilling my drink like I should have. 
Because I'm like, oh, I can just keep playing. No big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Thank you. And then you know what happened? He doesn't have trample, right? Yeah, I'll just take it. And by one, I mean when it doesn't matter. Prepare for battle. What? So what happens? It's uh, permanent damage that results in getting black paint during your turn. Yeah, we're definitely trophying that dude. I guess we could attack it, but that seems bad. Retreat. I hope I don't regret this. I mean, I can't see a, a benefit to attacking. Maybe I can. We have... Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, we get to draw a card. And we get to return this guy next turn with Taskmaster. Yeah, this is all pretty good. Oh, we get to play Bleeding Edge and Graveyard Marshal, making this guy a 4-4? Four -four? Okay. Okay. Just upkeep trophy. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna... Wait, what is this? Oh, I get to put one in your hand? I'll put the cruelty in your hand. I don't care about the other one. Or I don't care about that, I guess, is what I meant to say. Mow. So what we're gonna do... Kill this dude. Make that dude good. I'll choose that guy, and then I will not activate the ability. Mao, yeah, you guys, you guys can hear him. Ocean miles. Did they not do anything? Huh. We have six mana, so if we get something back, we can't also play Starev, but if we... We could actually just get two things back. We can't. We don't have two things. Um, if we get this guy back, we can just play it. Oh, I'm just gonna get the Reaper back. I want my Reaper back, Reaper back, Reaper back, Reaper back. Chili's Reaper back. Maybe maybe this would have been better. I don't know. Bet you won't take a shot every time you amass. That is correct. Oh good, we get to sacrifice two creatures. I guess we draw two cards. Death Whale? Death Whale? Is that from the ocean? I feel like this deck is not bad. We're putting a lot of pressure on the board. Consistently. Consistently. Thank you. Thopter Ninja, thank you so much. Really appreciate the sub. Welcome, welcome. Also, if you guys have uh, want to support the channel, feel free to subscribe or even give me a follow. You can click the button, these are right above you. And uh, as, a, as a streamer, as a regular streamer, I stream five to six days a week. And we usually play either uh, Cube, Draft, or Standard, or Modern. You have definitely not seen streams where I drink. You've seen streams where Mike drinks, perhaps. But I uh, I don't drink, let alone on stream. Uh, possibly streaming Sunday? I don't think so, because I will not be home. I will be in Utah. Uh, I was invited by Guardian Links to come to a, a pre-release at his store in Utah. So I'm going to be going there for the weekend. And it should be good times. <sighs> Probably want to just kill a Soren here. So if they block here, they take five, six, seven. Soren 
gets busted on. If they block here, you can deal five to the Soren. I'll get this guy, that seems fine. Oh my god, what is it? How did you even get this rude? Mao. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is fine. Wow, that was pretty bad. D Spark is great. I think we're just dead. Like, we're taking way too much damage, unfortunately. Good night, all the awesome people, zombies Rise rule, and have you shine. heard there are some new Planeswalkers bits? Zaxor, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Have a good night, buddy. Oh, good. See that crocodile? Welp. This is problematic. Creatures and planeswalkers have lifelink. Yikes. Lifelink is pretty strong. Hmm. Do you like Parks and Rec? Sammy, I love Parks and Rec. Office I like a little bit more, but I think Parks and Rec is fantastic. I don't know how to deal with this. Hmm. I don't like it. Oh god, no attacks. And turn. Oh, tell Mia. Yoakum, tell me I said hi. Tell me I miss her. You got it. I abhor my need for power. Yep. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excuse me. Woo. Yeah, this is a card we don't really have an answer to. Because I don't think there is an answer to it in the standard format, really. <laughs> Law Mage's Binding is like your most efficient answer to that thing. Pass. I won't excuse you? Wow, that's rude. You're a rude gentleman. So if we block with three, well they have five, so they're gonna kill two things no matter what. That would be, yeah, let's have Dr. Doom and magic. That'd be, that'd be pretty sick. They draw a card, we draw two cards. This guy gets, gets tucked back in. I'm starting to think Dreadhorde Invasion is just not very good. I believe in you. I do like this Black White Super Friends deck they're playing though. This is pretty sweet. I do not, however, like the uh, the, no the 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 quality of cards that we end up drawing. I'm gonna scoop because uh, we're probably dead. Matthew, Ari, what's going on, buddy? All right, we're gonna try the blue version now. Let's clone it. And, well, I guess we can still go black, blue, zombones. Or blue, black, zombones. Blue, black, zombones. 
You can go, you can go. You can go. Great food, no atmosphere, wow. Add blue, get rid of green. Uh, this guy seems good. Hexproof and Menace seems very, very strong. Also, giving them, just playing this guy as a 3-3 three, three and giving them flying, like... Seems good. Skylord seems mad, but it's just a way to like push through damage and kill them, right? Like, I mean, you just play this guy and then you kill them. Like, it's basically unblockable against a lot of decks. Like, I think as a one of it's actually pretty sweet, and if they kill it, you can really you can get it back with a lot of your cards. I also don't mind one commence the end game. I don't know how many cards we're gonna have in our hand, though, is the problem. Oh wait, actually, hold on. 4, 8, 12, 19. We actually need to make some cuts. We didn't put any islands in. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, we're at 62 cards now. Because we took out two Sturevs and two Assassin's Trophies. And we added six cards now, so... Oh, Soul Diviner was another card we were going to add. Uh, Eternal Taskmaster, I like. I just, I'm not sold on the Graveyard Marshal. Put Soul Diviner in. Maybe Dread Malkin can go out. Oh, this only takes, affects zombie tokens. That's interesting. Is it the same thing with the bird? Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's that's worse. I mean, it's still a 1-4 for 3 that makes it a, that amasses. I think it's still fine. Also, Enter the God Eternal's amassing 4 should make it so that Dreadhorde Invasion uh, allows us to attack a lot easier. And with the lifelink is, is really what I meant. I almost kind of want one more for... I'll take the Open the Graves out. I'm just going to add another Enter the God Eternals because I think that card is gas. Mow. Okay, so let me... Uh, I'm going to make a bunch of decks here. Uh, we're going to go STD War. I guess I can do this later, but I don't want to forget. Black, green, zombies... And yeah, I guess we can delete that. Okay, cool. Um, I will... Yeah, we can keep this. Yep. 
Why would we leave with that? I don't know. We got Soul Diviner, it's fine. We got mom cards here. Oh, that's real cool, dude. Encounter my encounter my thrilled mystic. My thing. No attacks. A Dread Horde Invasion. You counter this one, too? Didn't think so. Mm, didn't think so, nerd. Mm. I... No attacks again. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Huh? Okay, so... Dreadhold Invasion! I'm actually gonna play this. We're gonna remove the counter from the token. Try to hit a land drop. We did. Play the land. Play Dreadhold Invasion. I feel good about our life choices because next time we get double uh double enter the god eternals Is it possible that I could personally ban Wilderness Reclamation from Standard? Because I feel like that would be... I feel like it would make a lot of people happy, and uh, I would like to personally do that. Is that a thing I could do? I don't know. I just work here. Mmm, that's, that's special. Okay. Wait, no, that's not going to work. Five, five. Five alive. I guess we're not attacking here, right? Because next turn this becomes a six, six. Wow, look, look what happens when I hover over this thing. What is that? Is that hexproof? You guys want to see something cool? Resolve. I'm going to untap with the trigger. I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to make another ooze, and then I'm going to have 30 oozes. We pooped on the cycle of X-Spells and I watched them destroy people earlier today to draw X and make X tokens and so on. Both of them? Pass. Just this guy, huh? Can I block it? Eh, no blocks. I'm at 23. I think this is all fine. You gotta do what you gotta do, my dude. You gotta dude what you gotta dude. I'll tap one in response. You got it. I have one mana floating in my mana pool. I'm going to activate my Vivian's Arcabo for seven total mana. 
I hit a fibble fit. Okay, sounds good. Seems good. I thought you'd make another biogenic goose so they all get counters, but what do I know? Baby shark do 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 mama shark do 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 This guy's got hexproof and menace? Oh baby. Then they double block here. Eh, no, I don't care about that. If you want to trade your ooze with my midnight reaper, I think that's fine. No, bro. Oh, okay. No, 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 nailed it. I think we can probably make it a 9 9. I don't think we need 10 counters on this thing. <clears throat> Baby shark. Oh, another ooze. This card's obnoxious because we just don't have a way to deal with a 5-5 now. So we just, like, we keep messing up our lives by by letting our opponents have these unbeatable gods. Uh, pass to the end of combat. draw a card here. Gleaming Overseer. Doesn't have death attack, right? So they can just go five. It's like a block with a, a Ronus and an Ooze. It's still a lot of... This is an obnoxious... I think we just block with Ronus and one Ooze token, right? Like, that seems good. And then we don't get to draw anything? I guess we get to draw off of the Diviner, if that happens. And we get to gain a million, so... Eh, it's whatever. Did I say draw a million? Would you guys draw one? I don't know why I said a million. Sure. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. The problematic thing is that they get to just get to hit it again off Vivian. One, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Not a ton of mana. I guess we can play three two drops. Which is going pretty wide. This is obnoxious. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, the only problem I found with this deck is that A, it doesn't have any true evasion. There's this really weird disconnect with a lot of the zombies, like where Eternal Taskmaster wants to get things back from the graveyard. Things like uh, Graveyard Marshal wants to take things out of the graveyard. And then there's also like a lot of like, hey, we're gonna amass and make a bunch of zombie tokens, but on the same hand, uh, Midnight Reaper, wherever he is, doesn't trigger off of, of of tokens. So it's like, there's like a lot of tension within the deck. Yep, that's pretty good. And this is where flying, even if it's just to give like a, a one of these guys would be nice. Because then at least we have a way to get through, but...
Like, I just don't think there's a card in our deck. Ah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, it did feel like the 1-1 one -one sound was a lot louder than it should have been, right? I think we're dead on board, right? <laughs> oh, man. So, 5, 10. What do we have? 1, 2. It's hard to, like, I can't at a glance tell what's untapped and what's not untapped. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We take four, eight, twelve. Oh, we're at 38. We're not dead. What am I talking about? These guys have Death Touch, right? Which is pretty good. Oh yeah, well of course I'm going to use Soul Diviner. I mean, I think you know you're going to hit Ronus here. Which is fine. Does it double the power of each other creature controls and those creatures gain vigilance? Wait, did it not? When it enters the battlefield, double the power of each other creature. Why did it not do that? Did it not do that? Oh, it didn't resolve yet? That was, that was weird. Sure. They have three blockers. Are they dead? Four, three, five. They take one, two, three, four. Oh no, they get to do a bunch of it. Never mind. They have like double wilderness reclamation triggers. They can make like 900, 900 isms. Baby shark. Well, that's something. Neg X, Neg X. So they have one, two, three. They have four, five, six, seven. Seven attackers. Seven blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have the same. We could also just. Yeah, I agree. This card, Wilderness Reclamation, I think is really dumb. So four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just going to do that. You can well, they aren't useful to me alive. So wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we would take 8, and most of our guys would die, and then we'd actually get... Hey, I think we're just dead here. Yeah, this is rough. I mean, even if Recollection was rare, it'd still be, I mean, that doesn't make it a better card. It's just that only affects limited. I definitely think the green version was better, but I also do like the floaty guy for situations like that where you can just kind of pick away at them, and if they kill it, you can easily get it back. I think it's a... I think it's fine as, like, a one-of. Yeah, 
But yeah, you almost definitely heard a Mao. Returning an online permanent to its owner's hand seems pretty good. Let's take out the uh, let's take out the bleeding edges and put in Vizier of the Scorpions. No, I, I, I want to go play. I want to play Magic the Gathering. I love hearing the mouse since I don't have cats anymore. The mouse in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little man's hungry and he wants some food. Little man, you know you're gonna. Daedrin. <sighs> I want to play MTG Willow, but not my opponent. Well, your opponent does want to play it. You just don't want to let them. And that's why you're a monster. Why is the, why is the Y and the first looks like it's white, but the your opponent goes not white? I don't understand anything. No attacks here. I think drawing a card is better than getting two damage in. This is where they go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, a Gianni. Oh, wow. This is pretty good because they can put counters on both these guys. They'll have three mana. We could be much greater together. And then they get to search anyway. Well, that's pretty good. You were not destined to fight. I like it. I'm a fan. I am a fan. That growth chamber, Mitch. <laughs> nice. Oh, three whole mana. Oh, another growth chamber party. Nobody saw that coming at all. Really? Search for other land? You don't want to do the other half where you give you guys big butts? This should be flying. Like I keep looking at this and I think it flies. It reminds me of the chariot from uh from Theros. Hawatli. Fascinating. Face me and be recognized by history. I think we're just very hard, far, far behind and we don't really have much to do against this kind of a board, unfortunately. I don't think there's a, a dedicated black green, a black, uh, black green or black blue zombie strategy.
My strength is ours. You get an emblem with whenever a creature on his battlefield and your children draw a card. That's pretty good. I have no way to deal with that. That doesn't do it. I should have drew a card last turn, maybe? Okay, well, that's helpful. <laughs> so they can double block here, which is fine, and then it takes two. Okay. <sighs> now do you see the benefits of peace? They just go so wide and we're just like, I can't your guys are just bigger than ours. We're like making one fours and two threes. I like the idea. I bet there's I bet there is a zombie deck here. I just don't know if it's forced to play all these tiny guys. Uh Enter the God Eternals does not, it just deals damage to uh to target creature. Well, Shalai is pretty good. My strength is our strength. <laughs> the old eleven the old eleven loyalty. Seems good. Yeah, see, like, none of the cards in our hand do anything against this. Like, this is just kind of... We're just way behind, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think a mass is going to really do it. I just don't... Uh, if it made creatures every turn, maybe. But then, like... Even then, it's kind of like... I'm also afraid of this Ajani putting like... <sighs> putting like a counter or anything? How do we survive that? What is a poem without pain? What's a poem without pain? So if we killed a Johnny, it would prevent them from putting a counters on this, but they would also be able to make an emblem. They would go Militia Bugler, draw a card. Uh, the card off of Militia Bugler, draw a card. So they would have like four creatures. Presuming... Yeah, and then they, they would probably just chain into infinite. Now they're going to just probably finish off a Johnny here, because putting a counter on everything is pretty insane. I mean, that's what I would do. Yep. We're not whoop, 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 whoop. So we can block three of these things. Uh, so we can block here. I don't know which ones came into the battlefield this turn. I think it's these with the, like the subtle mist around them, I guess. So we could block. From the will of many, oh, what? What does that do? Of one. Plus X for X the number of creatures you control. Holy Jesus. So one, two, three, four creatures. We have we can block three of them. That doesn't seem great. Oh, wait. There's two hiding behind here? All right. Well, that's something, I guess.
Let's see if we have died. Might as well draw a card. Mm, go to two. Go to one. Island. Death Baron. Oh. I mean, like, we're just trying to scrap together anything we can here, I guess. Sure, we're dead, right? One, two, three, four. We block. We take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they could always pump this. So I'm pretty sure that's just lethal. Oh, and that makes it worse. Alright. Oh, boy. Either way, I think we're going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out at manatraders.com. The link and the promo code are in the description below. You will get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore for 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And if you guys are looking for articles and content, definitely hit up coolstuffinc.com. You'll get 5% off with promo code Frank5. And uh, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.